All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Chicago Bulls recap video. There's an ambulance driving by. Beautiful day here in Chicago. Last night, the Chicago Bulls had, and they've had some horrible losses this season. This was, it could have been the worst loss of the season. They lost to just a desperate Cleveland Cavalier team by 16 points. It was just absolutely horrible man sexton went off for 30 garland went off for 25 the bulls man it, it just they shot 35 percent from three but but cleveland was just 44 man they they shot the ball very well the bulls their sloppy turnovers the sloppy play it just it really got a hold of them and they got off to the slowest start i have seen in so long from the bulls it was 34 to 12 after the first quarter of this game, which is absolutely crazy. I can't wait for Zach Levine to come back, but it's weird, man. This Bulls team, they just had a couple of great wins against a good Celtics team, and they just beat this Cavs team a couple of days ago. So they had one, two straight. I thought they were going to get a third right here because they go to the Miami Heat for a back to, or not a back to back, two games against the Miami Heat uh, Saturday and Monday. Heat are a pretty good team, and then they go to the Knicks, who are a pretty good team, and then they go to the Bucks, who are a pretty good team as well. So this win was much needed, in my opinion. They really needed it. Kobe White, 14 points, six assists for him. I mean, Vucevic's five turnovers were pretty tough. Sadoransky's four. Thaddeus Young had three turnovers. Patrick Williams had three turnovers. It just really wasn't a good game for anybody except Laurie Markkinen on the offensive end. And then Thaddeus Young came through pretty well as well. I, I think outside of Th Sadoransky's four turnovers, he played pretty well. And then, I mean, I guess Thaddeus had three turnovers as well. Uh, they, they only played. I mean, Sadoransky only played 21 minutes and young only played 17 so that's just way too many turnovers to have but other than that they were pretty good but the sloppy turnovers it, it was just absolutely killer i think the Cavs only had about 10 turnovers last night and the bulls had like i said 19 so i mean vucevic nine points only five rebounds for him it wasn't his night uh it just wasn't a single player's night really i mean it, it just it was not the bulls night so this puts them in a pretty interesting spot. As a fan, I'm relatively nervous, but I'm I'm not too nervous. They're one game behind the Wizards. The Wizards have won six straight games. The Raptors have won four straight games. The Bulls were the 10 seed just a couple of days ago. They've been the 10 seed for quite some time. But now you have the Raptors half a game in front of the Bulls, and then you have the Wizards a full game in front of the Bulls. So... Like I said, man, I, I would not have been surprised if the Wizards made a run. The Bulls needed that win last night. They needed it desperately. They've needed some wins in this month of April. It, it was It's not the Bulls' best month. And things, honestly, right now are not looking great. But I want to maintain hope. There's still not a full left month of basketball. But, I mean, maybe, just maybe, hopefully when Zach Levine comes back, they can win some games. They need to win at least one of these games against the Heat. Obviously, they need to win both. That would be ideal. The Bucks to end the month might be a little tricky, but next month is relatively okay. It's mainly playoff teams. You get the Raptors, you get the Celtics, you get the Hornets, Hawks, Sixers. It's pretty much every team in the East, just about. So hopefully 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 they can go on a win streak but they've got a tough couple of games here tough couple of games let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys think about the game and about the bulls playoff chances the bulls next game is tonight against the charlotte hornets this is an absolute must win absolute must win troy young or sorry troy brown is out tonight zach levine once again will be out tonight Vucevic has got to go off. He has to go off tonight, in my opinion. This is a huge game. They need to get this win. The next two are against the Miami Heat. Huge game, huge game here. Charlotte comes to the United Center. So let me know what you guys think happens tonight if the Bulls win or lose. And I'll see you guys later.